Hey everyone, JRay's back again. In this video, we will be going over the gate tab in the Ghost LR. In the last video, we went over pitch correction and how you can use gender and pitch. But there will be one key difference from the last video to this one, and that is the microphone I'm using currently. Last video, I was using the Hale PR40, and in this video, we will be using the RE20 from ElectroVoice. Hopefully, the difference is a noticeable one and an improvement. Alright, so before we start messing around with the gate, if you have this in the simplified version, you're going to want to have this expanded by clicking the arrow. And then you will be exposed to threshold, attenuation, attack, and release. This is very important because the simplified version gives you a lot less control, so be sure to do that. First up, we're going to be looking at your attack because this is probably the simplest thing because I'm just going to tell you to leave it on the default setting of 10 milliseconds. If you leave it on that setting, you should have no issues at all. But if you have it at, let's say, a thousand milliseconds, it's going to take you one second of speaking before you can finally be heard by your audience because this is the amount of time that it takes for the gate to open. So leave it on default and then you won't be cut off when you start speaking. The threshold, on the other hand, is a harder setting to get right because a lot of times you think you have this set correctly and you might not realize that you're cutting out or dipping in volume. To help set this up correctly, I recommend turning the attenuation to 100%. This way, when you're cutting out, it's very apparent to yourself. So be sure to go to your mixer tab as well and turn up mic monitoring to a percentage you can hear yourself back. This way, you know exactly when you're cutting out or dipping a volume and then you just lower it back down. So for a demonstration, I will begin raising this as I'm talking and then you should hear me cut out or dip in volume and then I will start lowering it back down. So I'm currently talking, I'm at negative 40. You should not be hearing me cut out at all. As I slowly start raising it, you might be hearing me dip and I'm still talking, but I'm going to be lowering it back down because I will be cutting off at the negative 25 range for sure. And then I like to back it down another 10 or so decibels from the absolute minimum. This is just because if you're looking left, right, up or down, and you're not looking directly at the microphone, you can cut out to your viewers and you might not always be focusing on that. So be sure to give yourself some room on threshold. And then I will just lower back my attenuation down about 70%. The way you can think of attenuation is a door. And if you actually hover over certain things, you will be exposed to that. So they kind of give you the idea that if you have attenuation set to 100%, the door is fully closed. So anything below this threshold amount will not be heard by your viewers or audience. But if you have it set to 100%, the gate is also very transparent or harsh to your viewers in the sense that they can very clearly hear that a gate is opening and closing. So I like to keep this at 70%. If I have a very noisy background, I might find that setting this to 100% is the best option because it will keep all the sound out. With that being said, this will also be a good setting for when you have keyboard clicks and you want to get rid of that completely. So yeah, 70%. The gate is not the end all be all. You will definitely want to set up your microphone correctly. And if you have a sensitive microphone, you might find bringing it closer to yourself and lowering the gain amount will result in the best overall sound because then your gate won't play as big of a role in your audio. Be sure to think about that as well. Last but not least, we have your release. And yeah, that rhymes, but let's keep going. This will depend on a few things, kind of going along with the noise environment. You might find that having a release a very low amount, let's say 150, might be your best result. Because when you stop talking, the gate's going to kick in right away and close. But if you have a fairly quiet environment, and you're going for that more natural sounding gate, you're going to find that having a larger amount will make it sound a lot cleaner and nicer because if you have a very transparent sounding attenuation and a larger release, your gate will be kicking in and out much less frequently. And you might be going for that sound, but if you're going for a radio dynamic kind of sounding voice, you might find the release amount being at 200 might kind of give you that illusion. 
I typically kind of leave it in the middle somewhere. Depending on if something's being done in the background, then I might lower it. But I'm definitely liking the 600 sound and more natural sounding gates, so be sure to consider that. But it all depends on what you're going for and your specific environment. So I hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and a comment and let me know what I can improve on in the next videos.